Disney has used their streaming service to try and bring back some shows, and one of those revivals that intrigued me the most was The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder. I did watch the original series back in the day, and I even revisited a while back in anticipation for these new episodes. I found The Proud Family held up well as a domestic sitcom, with the funniest parts involving the patriarch Oscar and his attempts to sell snacks. With Loud and Prouder, creator Bruce W. Smith has nicely continued the adventures of Oscar, Penny, Sugar Mama, and the rest of the family and their friends. It really feels like a natural continuation, albeit updated to current times. Some may gripe of the new show making modern references to things like social media, online influencers, and certain celebrities. However, the original show was very much a product of the early 2000s. Remember the episode where Penny becomes addicted to a Napster-type program and they do a bunch of Matrix parodies? So it makes sense for Loud and Prouder to acknowledge aspects of life today's youngsters would be familiar with. The characters remain largely unchanged, though, and the storylines they come up with would not have been that out of place in the original series. We still have Penny as the focus, and through some outlandish event, she learns or teaches some kind of lesson. Although I like the variety of stories the writers have devised here. In some episodes, Penny is shown as being in the right. Meanwhile, others have Penny go down some paths that require her to learn something. I mentioned before that Oscar was my favorite character in The Proud Family, and that remains true. He's given the funniest lines, and Tommy Davidson knows exactly how to play his desperation as he attempts to get people to partake in some proud snacks. He even opens a theme park, and we see what happens to it through multiple episodes. The original show made him a mostly sympathetic figure, and I actually felt bad for him and often wanted to see him catch a break. Louder and Prouder does have him be a little meaner in some episodes, with his comeuppance being earned in a few cases. Wizard Kelly even comes across as the better man in one episode, something that rarely happened in the original series, where he was often an antagonist and bully to Oscar. As I mentioned, the characters remain almost the same as they were 20 years ago. The one exception is Michael, who is openly gay in the new show and is even given a new voice actor. There are also other little details that fit with current times. Dijonet being obsessed with social media and using multiple platforms to spread her gossip is a particularly clever touch. What's remarkable is that the original cast sounds exactly the same as they did when The Proud Family originally aired on the Disney Channel. Only Eris Spears as Wizard Kelly sounds completely different. Throughout Loud and Prouder, they made sure to bring back some earlier characters, and it's fun anticipating who might pop up again. Al Roker even returns to once again grant Penny a magic wish that she will eventually regret. There are new characters as well. The most prominent is Maya, who joins Penny's friend group and who is often participating in political activism. You might expect this character to mostly exist to teach Penny some lesson and always be in the right, but from the first episode, the show actually portrays the flaws of her activism and the incorrect way she goes about certain causes. Meanwhile, her brother Francis mostly serves as a replacement for Sticky, right down to also being a tech whiz and Dijonet having a crush on him. Bruce Smith and the designers have also updated the look of the Pratt family. Most animated shows that get revived are given artistic revisions, even the new Animaniac series, so this should not be that surprising. The new art style actually works quite nicely, and it also makes in-universe sense, since the teenage and child characters are meant to be slightly older. Although, fittingly, Oscar is the only character who looks exactly the same as he did in the original series. To conclude, it's been great catching up with these characters, and the Proud family louder and prouder. These are smart, funny episodes with worthwhile messages, and they work for those who grew up with the original, as well as the new generation getting a chance to be introduced to the Prouds. If you've watched the new show on Disney+, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching.